Happy birthday, Mr. Basil. 75. You young, you young dog, you. Uh, if there was a word in the dictionary under mentor, your picture is there. You taught us. You made all of us on this video that you're going to get received to the cheerleaders, to the whatever. You taught us to be great young men and women. Uh, it, there's nothing much more to say. I, I mean, you, you, you taught us to be ladies and gentlemen. Uh, our monthly calls, I'm gonna continue phone calling you. We talk for years, once, once or twice a month. And I'm going to continue those. Uh, I just hope you have a great day. And I hope you continue to get better. And uh, as soon as I get up there to Ohio, you're my number one stop. Uh, it's been a little rough down here in Florida for last week or so. But... Uh, will manage and as soon as I get up there I'm gonna come and see you so but if not I will continue calling you and just have a great day and tell Mike and Kathy I said hello again which I continue to communicate with so have a great day Hey Larry, Ron Maines here, class of 75 from St. Adelbert, long time ago. Anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy 75th birthday. I hear you're doing a little bit better from everything you've been through lately and just want to send some prayers to help with the healing. And other than that, you know, uh, hopefully maybe get to see you sometime. But in the meantime, anyway, enjoy your birthday today and uh, we'll talk to you soon. All right, take care. Happy birthday, Mr. Vasil. This is Frank Oldblack. As you all know, the Ox was the nickname in basketball. I want to thank you for tutoring me at St. Adelbert's Learning How to Read. If you remember that, I'm sure you do. I just want to say enjoy the rest of your day on your birthday. And it was always really a good time with you. You're a good coach. I hope you get better soon, Mr. Vasil. I'll talk to you soon. Happy birthday on your birthday. Just wanted to say happy birthday, Larry. Happy 75th and many, many more to the greatest coach in St. Adelbert's history. Wonderful person, a father figure to me anyways. You're a wonderful person. God bless you and have many, many more birthdays. Love you. Coach, Coach Larry Basil, aloha from the sunny state of Hawaii. I uh, want to wish you a most blessed 75th birthday. May you enjoy your blessed day. Uh, two things, I still have the original A that you gave it to me for my one year in football in fifth grade. And this is from all of us because you are a man, you're a myth, and you're a legend in Berea. We all love you. God bless and enjoy your blessed birthday. Hey, Coach Vasil, this is Brian Gahan. Don't know if you remember me, but I was the first kid ever in the history of San Adelbert's to play from third grade to eighth grade and make the weight limit. Well, the only reason I played in third grade is because you guys really wanted my brother, Pat. But anyhow, I remember what an amazing coach you were. Probably the best coach I ever had in my life. And then you left us for my favorite school, St. Ed's, which I never got to go to, but I've been a St. Ed's fan my whole life. And I loved watching and seeing what you had done over the years there. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for being the best coach ever. God bless you, buddy. Hey, Larry, happy birthday. All our love to you, man. 
Happy birthday, Larry. Hope you have a great day. Hi, Larry. It's Chris Graves. Um, I don't know if you remember uh, my name, but uh, how about, uh, I think uh, Buzzy gave me the nickname of uh, Steamer. Uh, I'm doing okay. Uh, I live in Brook Park with my wife, Pat, of uh, over 30 years. Um, when Dan put your uh, picture on, on Facebook uh, last week, it, it just brought back a, a whole bunch of memories. Uh, lots of great memories. And uh, I just wanted to wish you uh, a very happy birthday, and uh, I hope you uh, feel better soon. Take care. Hi, Larry. This is Brian Adams. We go all the way back to the St. Adelbert days. Um, you know, when he coached me there. Never got a chance until this moment, really, to tell you thank you for being a father figure to me, the positive impression you made on me. Your influence uh, put me on a good path. You helped me be successful uh, in all the different aspects of my life, job, family, and all that. Uh, and it's greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for caring for me and believing in me. All the best to you. Happy birthday to you. Best wishes. Take care and God bless. Hey Larry, this is Kenny. I think you remember me. Happy 75. What's up there? We're all catching up to you. you re I know you. You were our best coach. Option left, remember that? Boom, touchdown. same stamina you got when we get a couple more years older but you were an awesome guy you still are best coach we ever had Larry Basil you don't know me but you know my name Wilson you coached my brother David Wilson my brother Danny Wilson you were amazing and motivating them to be the best that they can be. And I am a recipient of them. I want to think of you. God bless you. God keep you. Take care. All the best. Thank you for your work. Love it. Go Cleveland. Bye for now. The following is a letter I received from Patrick Gauhan and Larry, I gotta tell you it pretty much encapsulates everything all of us feel so if you bear with me here i'd like to read it to you on behalf of patrick hello larry patrick gawhand here with both well wishes for a happy 75th birthday and a sincere thank you our time together was brief fourth to eighth grade but was prolific in its impact on me as a person as my first coach with Bob Johnson, I came to you as a shy kid with all the insecurities of a youngster trying to find out where he belonged. The moment I stepped onto the field and watched you bring our parts of our collective being that we never knew existed, I knew I was where I needed to be. You taught us values that served me for the rest of my life and assured in me that I had found my tribe. I was never the same once I met you and my football people. I learned some incredible life lessons from you and the sport you adopted, and these lessons have served me throughout my entire life. You made me, for the first time, appreciate the fact that the diversity in people is what brings out success. Us roly-poly linemen, lightning-quick little running backs, fast-twitch fearless quarterbacks, wide receivers with glue-like hands, while no two alike, all those parts were required to make a team successful. You taught me that I am my brother's keeper, starting as a lineman. I must be willing to sacrifice my body to advance the goals of the team, the inglorious but highly rewarding task of protecting my brothers. 
You taught me that even when I didn't believe in myself, you believed in me, and that was enough to get me to the next level. You taught me that success, no matter how improbable, resulted only from hard work, dedication, and a pure, unadulterated commitment to the team's mission, losing all sense of self in the process. You taught us the value of collective victory, something so much more important than one could realize individually. You taught me to be publicly accountable to my brothers and that if I let them down by missing a block or a tackle, everyone would see it, everyone would suffer the consequences of that failure, and that only I could manage that accountability. We all had the exact same accountability, and you made sure of that. You empowered me and so many other young men, kids if you will, to experience moments of exhilaration that had never been experienced, and in many ways, never achieved since. Life only provides you with one first experience, first touchdown, first sack, first interception, first love of a sport, first band of brothers. The brotherhoods you fostered, the experiences we shared, the exhilarating moments that were created, and the lessons that made them all possible have served us all throughout our lives. That spirit, once unleashed, is ever-present in the good work that carries on in the men that you empowered. It's an incredible responsibility you carried and an even better manifestation in the manner in which you executed that responsibility. You have always been very special to me and so many more. You may never know the impact you made on all of our lives, but I can tell you that my football experience at St. A's made me who I am today, gave me the greatest core of brothers anyone could ask for and empowered me to share these lessons in my work, my friendships, and the people that I've had the honor of coaching along the way. The ripples of the waves you've created are immense, my friend, and it's been a lifelong honor to have learned from one of the true all-time greats. Thank you, Larry. You're forever and thankful student of the game called life. Patrick Gawhan, guard, fullback, defensive end, linebacker, lover of everything that is football. Hey, happy birthday, coach. Danny Wilson here, and I can't tell you how much of a thrill it was when I spoke with you for the first time in a very long time, and the first words out of your mouth were Dan Devine. <laughs> so, that was so cool. I was so humbled by that. But I'm also humbled uh, to have played under you and to sincerely call you coach. Uh, you are an incredible inspiration to all of us. On behalf of all my family, my mom and dad, and my brothers and sisters, thank you so very much for everything you did. And I can remember you uh, taking me to high school when you, when you got that job at St. Mark's. And all the things you did with, for me uh, from elementary school through high school and you were there for me all the way through my senior year. One of the sayings that we've always had at St. Ed's is the fact that a quality, the quality of a man's life is directly proportional to his commitment to excellence. Nobody embodies that phrase better than you do. Your commitment to excellence with your family, with your friends, with your players, and more importantly, Larry, to your faith. Thank you so very much for being there for all of us. I also wanna share one other thing with you that means a lot to me. It's that champions, true champions, are those who can execute the fundamentals without hesitation in the chaos of competition. You instilled in us this repetitiveness of what we needed to do in a game situation. I bet if we got on the basketball court today, we could all run that same fast break that you taught us in elementary school. I guarantee it. But that applies so much to more than just sports. It applies to life. Remembering that the fundamentals in the chaos of competition. When you're hurting, when you're down, 
Remember what got you there. And it goes back to your faith, your family, and your friends. And I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you, Larry. I love you so much. And I hope that this birthday video brings you many smiles. So to you and your family, happy birthday, Larry. And we'll talk to you soon. Love you.